YouTube, it's Elizabeth, Finding Elizabeth, and I don't know what day today is. I think it's August 17th, 2015. This is my week 70 post-op vertical sleep gastrectomy update. And something happened this week that hasn't happened in all 70 weeks. Wait for it. It's very exciting. I don't have anything to say. And this is particularly after last week saying how much I appreciated the people who were further out from surgery continuing to make videos even when they didn't have anything to say or they thought they didn't have anything to say. Well, today I don't think I have anything to say, so this will probably be quick. Um, my starting weight in January of 2014 was 402 pounds. My weight at surgery on April 14th, 2014 was 360.6 pounds. My weight last week was 210 pounds, and my weight today was 209.6 pounds. So that's a whopping 0.4 pound loss. Um, since last week, 151 since surgery, and 192.4 um, since I started this process. But that's okay, 0.4, it's okay. Sorry, my hair is really tweaked today. I didn't use the straightener because I'm just home working and my bra strap showing and what else can be weird about this video. Um, but the good thing is I finally got below uh, out of the two tens. I got into the two tens at the very beginning of May, so it basically took me May, June, July, and half of August, three and a half months, to lose 10 pounds. So those people who just had surgery and are complaining about two pounds a week, shh, shh, just kidding, complain, whatever you want to do. So um, yeah, it is what it is. It's definitely slowed down. My eating was actually reasonably on track last week. Um, I can't even think of, I mean, I did, it was my stepdaughter's birthday and I took her dinner and a little ice cream cake because her husband was out of town and she had the baby. So I brought it over and I had a piece, a tiny piece of ice cream cake, but I didn't even think about that as um, bad because I knew I was going to have it. I planned to have it and it wasn't like the things that I feel bad about or guilty about, which is when I'm eating compulsively, like for no particular reason um, and that wasn't the way I ate that so I was perfectly fine with eating it and uh, you know overall I think I was pretty good last week of course I have not gotten back to my fitness pal um, we're gonna try it again today and see if I can get on there and be consistent with it because it could be all in my head that I was okay with my food what I wasn't okay with last week was exercise um, my trainer Brandon and his wife Sarah who is my niece had their baby uh, Wyatt Christopher on Wednesday so I haven't worked out with him. I could have worked out on my own. I really haven't. I've done a little bit of Brazil butt lift, but that's it. I haven't walked because my Fitbit has been screwed up and I didn't have a phone. And these are all excuses. My Fitbit is now working. I have a phone. I was planning on walking today, but it is so hot here. Um, but I may. We'll see. I don't know. So looking forward to when Brandon is back because then I know I have to go work out three times a week and I am on track with it. Um, hopefully that'll probably be Saturday. Um, what else? Last week was my 16-month um, post-op and I had lost 3.2 pounds in that month, which again, not very much, but still going in the right direction. And I had also lost in that month three quarters of an inch on my waist, a half an inch on my left arm, I only do the left side of my body, an inch on my left thigh, an inch on my left calf, and an inch on my chest. So that's good. Um, I posted last week that I think, I think I I think it was last week that I was feeling kind of anxious and overwhelmed and that that might be due to a medication change. I went ahead and went back to my regular Wellbutrin dosage and feel oh so much better. I did not call the psychiatrist and ask to do this, but I probably should. Um, but made a world of difference. So uh, feeling much better generally. I do have a lot of stuff <laughs> going on for work, but it's okay. I can handle it. We'll get through it. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I do find that I'm better at setting boundaries with people. Um, as it relates to work and other things, I, you know, I think before, as wrong or as right, you know, whatever, if this is wrong, it is what it is. But I think since I've lost weight, I feel more worthy of standing up for myself. Like before I thought, why are these people working with me? Well, they're working with me because I'm smart and I know what I'm doing. But in my head, it was like, 
yeah, they're taking a risk working on me because I'm super morbidly obese. Well, that doesn't really matter, but for whatever reason, I do find that I um, am a little better at setting boundaries with people lately around work and other things. So that's been nice. So when I can't do it or it's over and above what I had promised a client, I'm much better about saying that, which is good. I, um, last night I was cleaning and I had thought that I had gotten rid of all my really big clothes and I had always been kind of bummed that I didn't keep a pair of pants so I could do the, you know, fit into one leg of your pants picture. Well, yesterday I found a pair of shorts that were size 26 and that's not even when I started this, I couldn't fit in those shorts at all. I was like busting out of a 32. But last night I took a picture of myself in one leg of those and I'll put it, I mean, I think I might put some pictures into this video. Someone had commented a couple weeks ago that they wanted to see before uh, and after pictures. And I don't usually do that on videos because I'm posting that stuff all the time on Facebook, but I think I will because this should hopefully be a short video. Um, but anyway, I posted that picture last night on Instagram and Facebook and I got a message from my dad this morning that was super sweet, which was um, lots of dads, I'm gonna get all teary, lots of dads can say they're proud of their daughters, but I don't know how many can say they are inspired by them. So that was very sweet. Of course, I feel weird about taking credit for it because I feel like, I don't know, that's not really rational. I know it's, I had the surgery and I've done the things that I needed to do so that it will, so that I could lose 192 pounds. Um, but I don't know, something about the surgery. I guess when people say that they're inspired by me and they want to lose weight, I feel a little bit uncomfortable because I feel like you can't, if you're not going to have surgery too, you can't, it may be inspiring, but it's still going to be really fucking hard because it is way easier after you have surgery. It's not the easy way out, but it is easier. I mean, no lie. It is way easier. I never in my life lost 192 pounds or thought I would or whatever. So, but anyway, it was a very sweet thing to say and I appreciated it. Um, anything? Oh, I saw Randy, VSG Granny, last week. We went to, um, I drove out to San Diego. She was there with her husband, and we went out to lunch, and that was wonderful to see her. She looks great. What else? Was there anything else that I wanted to talk about? I guess not. I guess that's about it. So, uh, a couple of shout-outs. Got a shout-out, Brandon. I don't think he watches my videos, but on their new little baby, which is wonderful. I also wanted to sh shout-out to Barbie W., I don't know if she's on Facebook, and um, but she did a video last week. She doesn't do a lot of videos uh, and has really struggled with her surgery. And I just think it was really brave of her to make that video and probably difficult to do. And um, I think it's something that's super helpful. She, I'll put a link to the video below, but she talked about her process and the struggle she's had because of different medical issues post um, weight loss surgery. And who else do I have shout outs to? Carolyn Hopkins, I she had surgery last week and I did not know that until she posted a video after surgery, so I wanna give her a shout out. Um, and Erin Warren hit uh, Wonderland, yay, Erin. Erin set up a group of like, I don't know, getting about people who were getting to Wonderland a long time ago. And I think it took us all way longer than we thought it would to get there. Well, I haven't gotten there yet, but the other people, I think it took them way longer than they thought it would as well. And then, um, of course, Melly Mae and Gracie, who are celebrating their one year search anniversary this week, not year. Anyway, that's all I got, folks. Um, if you have ideas for videos or questions you might want me to answer, since I seem to be um, running a little dry on topics, please post below. All right, have a great week. I'll talk to you later.